welcome back to my channel and happy new year yeah. i hope you all had a safe 2020 and here's to a great year for skincare today i am going to talk about a korean brand edgy house if you haven't heard of edgy house have you been living under a rock because it is one of the top five korean brands for skincare and cosmetics and today's product is from Edge Your House's Sunjun line. It's called the Sunjun Hydro Barrier Cream. It looks like this. It's a very no nonsense, no fuss moisturizer. So this skincare line was created because Edge Your House wanted to create a skincare line that is catered towards the needs of somebody who has very damaged, easily irritated, stress and dry skin. So the Sunjun line has toner, cleanser, mask and moisturizer and all of the products in the line are meant to have very non-irritating ingredients and I will put the ingredient list for this cream in the description below. The Sonjun Barrier Cream, the reason it's called a barrier cream is because it claims to enhance the skin barrier. And before this, I didn't realize we have skin barriers. I thought we just had skin. But no, apparently on the top of our skin lies um, another layer, if you can think of it as a security guard. And it's meant to protect your skin from bad things like the UV, pollution, toxins, infection. And what this cream claims to do is it enhances that barrier and it will give you radiant skin. And looking at the ingredient list, it also has pathanol, which um, is meant to moisturize and soften your skin. It also has green tea extract, which is antioxidant and it has anti-inflammatory properties. Sentinel, as you know, it's meant to calm your skin down, get rid of redness. And it also has a bunch of good stuff, basically meant to strengthen your skin barrier. So how do you use this? You know, you use it like any other moisturizer. So when you buy this, it actually comes with a little scoop, a little spoon that you can use to, you know, scoop out your moisturizer like this. I've actually used um, most of this moisturizer. As you can tell, I'm at the bottom of this bottle. Um, and this is what you get. It's just a very lightweight white cream. It has no fragrance, which I love. I don't like moisturizer having any fragrance because you don't know what that could do to you. Um, it's actually very lightweight. It's like, it's almost like a gel consistency. And then you just rub it on your skin like this, you know, before um, your sunscreen. Or as the last step in your nighttime routine. And that's it. So I've been using this cream, this moisturizer for about two to three months, I would say. And what I really like about this is it is quite gentle. Uh, as I mentioned, it has no smell and the texture just feels really lightweight. It's not oily and it hasn't given me any breakouts. It feels really nice. Like it glides onto your skin so softly and so smoothly. Like just when I'm doing this now, it feels like I'm massaging my wrist and my hand. So it is really gentle. Another thing I love about this is its pH. Um, as you know, our skin has a certain level of pH and this one has a pH of 5.5 so it's very similar to the pH of our skin so it is quite good in that sense for people with really sensitive skin but what I don't like about this cream is um, the fact that it has silicone in it and it's actually quite high up on the ingredient list so if you are sensitive or allergic to silicone i don't recommend you give this one a go and i'm surprised sunjun would come up with this moisturizer knowing that a lot of people with easily irritated skin um, cannot handle silicone so step up your game sunjun the other thing that i don't like about this moisturizer is as you know in australia the climate is very dry so for me to wear this 
uh, in winter it's just not enough and also at night time i would prefer something a bit more heavy something that gives me a bit more hydration and this one just doesn't cut it but i don't know if you live in a tropical area like thailand or philippines um you might love this one and it might just be perfect for your climate. Out of 10, I would give this moisturizer a seven. It is a really good, no fuss moisturizer that you, if you don't have sensitive skin, that you just wanna quickly put it on and you know get on with your day. It's good in that sense, but if you actually have really sensitive skin, I wouldn't really recommend it. I have heard some people you know, breaking out because of the silicone ingredient and also i think if you do want something that is a little bit more heavy than this moisturizer but still want um, the gentleness of this moisturizer i would recommend the kills ultra facial cream even though i know it is expensive it's heavier it gives you more hydration so i would consider buying that one if you do have the money for it um well talking about money um if you buy this one from yes style this one is a 74 five mil i believe yes a 75 mil bottle and it's about 31 dollars and 51 cents so it's not super cheap but i would say it's sort of low to mid range price um so yeah so that's it for today with this moisturizer if you have tried it please let me know your thoughts on this moisturizer or if you have used it along with any other products in the sunjong skincare line please also let me know what your feedback is that i would love to hear from you but other than that thank you so much for watching and i hope you are having a good break or had a good break and if you love watching more videos like this one please subscribe and i will see you next week i will try to put out more videos this year so that is my 2021 new year's resolution all right thank you so much for watching bye